I hemmed and hawed whether to use a, a polyurethane or to use um, resin. And I decided to go with the polyurethane because it has a little bit of an umber finish to it. And it might hide some of these things a little bit better than the straight clear varnish. It's going to take at least two coats. I'm going to put on one on the bottom right now. I can't do the other side because the patch isn't dry. And also it's just easier to do one side at a time. Later on I will be doing the second coat both sides because I, will have, I won't have enough time. Because it is uh, Thursday night right now. It's about... 1 o'clock in the morning. Um, I spent the day going through Dana's van looking for stuff. I found his wallet. I found his, um, about pretty much everything I needed to find was in there. You know, um, Now this first coat's going to suck way in and it's going to feel like sandpaper on it. But that's alright. So I'm just going to give it a quick sanding and then put the second coat on. And that will take care of it and it look pretty decent. Ideally, I would like to have at least three, but I don't think I'm going to have that much time. I have to work tomorrow, so I won't be doing too much on this. I'll, I'll get a coat on the other side in the morning. That's probably about all I'll get, and maybe on the afternoon. Well, I better. I have to get in the afternoon. I'm running out of time. Because the paddle out, I want to have it for the paddle out, is uh, Saturday. So, and i got a lot of other stuff to do, so I better get to work. Right about next to the camera is a, a big long pole, and I'm varnishing that because that's going to be a flag pole. We're going to have a flag at half mass tomorrow, or Saturday, and uh, on the funeral, so both days, Saturday and Sunday be half mass. I'm just kind of working it in good. I don't know why it doesn't have to be used, but just for a little while. But I like to do it the right way, so that's how I would do it if I was doing it to put on my wall at home. Now this coat's not going to look all that good, like I said before, but after I sand this and put another coat on it, it will look a lot better. And this is the flag pole that I'm going to be using. The long wooden pole that I've already stained, and now I'm going to put a coat of spar varnish on it. I ran the screws in the ends, that way I can rotate it as I'm painting, which makes it a lot easier to paint this way. But, yep, Dana Brown is going to have flag at half mass tomorrow, or actually it is tomorrow because now it is, it is officially Friday, even though it feels like Thursday, I haven't gone to bed yet. You can get an idea how it looks, it's kind of heavy, Dana's in here now in case you didn't know. Um, I did a plug here. I got to do some sanding on it real quick. I sanded on the plug right here. We put that in. That's the fill hole right there. On the fill hole, I filled it with sawdust and glue um, so that it looks okay. I got one little hole there, but I don't have time to fill it. It won't be dry. I have to work today. So I'm just going to go ahead and put a coat of varnish on it like it is. And maybe later on, if I have time, I can fill it and put another coat on it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put another coat on it, but um, I might even put a sticker or something over it, but I don't know. Haven't decided yet. All right, here it goes. First coat on the top side of Dana's surfboard. Doesn't that look cool?
Wow, this is cool. This is the board that um, Bob made. Incredible job. But it's also got Dana in it already. Um, wow. And it's not light. It's, it's heavy. Okay? Um, so, much to my amazement how heavy it is. Life is so much more than our bodies. And we're all going to stand and meet God. And this is a... Um, you stop and think this is your ashes. This is your life. Uh, without what's left for God. It's... Um, wow. It's just a real, real thought that process there. Okay, get the last coat of varnish on night before the paddle out. Normally I do one side at a time, but because we don't have that much time, it has to be dry, we have to hang it. Go ahead, keep talking. But this is incredible that this is, um, I mean, 60 years. And as far as the body goes, this is what's left. Um, but the deeds and the friends and the fellowship and the relationships and the spirit are so, so much more than the body. And that's what's so cool to know that there is a life after death. There is another place. There is more. Because if this was all there is, at the end, that would be really sad. But it's not all there is. And so this is really cool. Before we varnish it, I just want to make sure it works, but we've got to sand it because right now it feels like shark skin. And, of course, I don't want to get my rusty painted buckets all over it. And Ralph's going to do a little sanding while he's talking. I am. <laughs> I've done plenty of sanding in my life. When I sand, we're, uh, when you're making boats, you do a little sanding. A lot of sanding. And then when you're done with that sanding, you do more sanding when you're building boats. And I'm sure it's the same with a surfboard. I've never built a surfboard. I've fixed quite a few surfboards, but I've never built a surfboard. At least I don't think I ever have. But, uh, just taking the burrs off the coat of this, outer coat. Just a quick fan. That's all it is, getting the burrs. Starting up here in the, in the front end. We'll do some of the old fashioned way, but not that much. Mostly it's all motorized. And he's affected so many lives. Uh, just today, almost everywhere I went, I talked to somebody and they all had been affected by Dana. Um, I stopped at a printer. And while I was there, there was a lady that told me that Dana and Dad lived with them. And then I had a flat tire. And um, I went to a business meeting. And one of the guys that was at the business meeting that wasn't expected to be there used to be Dana's boss. That was incredible. What are the odds that, one, I would go to the print shop and I would meet somebody that used to, Dana and Dad used to live with, and then... I would go to a business meeting and a guy I was not expecting to be there was Dana's old boss. And I dropped my tire off to get fixed and uh, went back and got it. And then a little bit later, I went out to 16th Street South and I'm talking to the people there and they're telling me that, well, that's where Dana parked his truck at night. Okay? Uh, at the tire shop, the same tire shop I went to to get my tire fixed. What are the odds of that? That was pretty incredible. So I had four meetings today, and all four meetings were affected by Dana, and of the four, none of them were on my schedule to be affected by Dana. None. So that's an incredible thing. Um, so it's not what, you know, it's just not who you are, 
or the physical aspect, but you can have a big effect on a lot of people over a lifetime. Because if this is all you got at the end of your life, you're in trouble. That's good. Let's dust it off and hang it. Let me get this. Sorry. Just a little bit better. Now, between layers of fiberglass, we usually will knock off the birds with a light sanding. And that's essentially what we're doing here. Knocking off the birds. I'm amazed how heavy this little surfboard is. Just amazed. I'm amazed at the impact today has on me. What are the odds that four out of four appointments would have been affected by Dana, and Dana had an effect on them. Four out of four. And none of them were planned that way. One of them might have been planned that way, maybe sort of, but not really. But the other three, clearly without a doubt, had nothing to do. Yep. Hey, did Ralph miss the thin? I wasn't watching. Oh, you're right, Ralph. Where, didn't miss where the thing. We right there. You're now. right there. The camera's back there. But you know what? We're not going to work the two cameras. That's live on Facebook. Oh, it's live right now on Facebook. Yep. You're talking to a lot of people. I didn't know that. Hang on. Up. That's unedited. All right. What I do is I'm going to have you hold it, and I'll varnish, or I'll varnish and you hold it. Which ways you hold I'll it? I'll hold it. <laughs> <laughs> Either way, I don't mind. Let me take this speaker thing off my head. Uh, Ralph wears gloves because he's a wimp. Ralph wears gloves. Because they're going to eat in a little while and they're going to get all smelly and nasty. But I wear gloves because I don't want to hurt my delicate hands. Not really that delicate, but anyway. I wore gloves. They're just, they're just tilted a little bit. I'm going to do the, the this side first. Okay, so tilt it back so people that are watching you could watch if they wanted to. It'd be nice if the paintbrush was either a hair smaller or the bucket was a hair bigger, but that's what it is. Well, what does that beep sound? I mean, someone liked you. <laughs> oh, well, then someone likes what's going on. Cool. At least one person's watching. Probably Bob's wife inside. I know I missed the spot. There it is, right there. I was waiting for you to tell me all about it, but well, that would be my wife. You can answer. Well, you want to bet that's my wife. No, it's not. Ohio. Ralph Brown speaking. This is Ralph Brown speaking. Okay. Can we have this conversation on Monday? All right. Thank you. Uh, 10 o'clock Monday morning. Okay? Yes, sir. I'll be driving at that time. Be a good time talking. Bye. I don't know. You can hold the fin. Here you go. I'm important. I'm holding the fin. By the way, that's Ralph. I'm Bob. We're Dana's brother. Brothers. One of five boys and three sisters. There's eight of us in the Brown family. And we're all going to be here for the first time since the 70s. That's incredible. We have an older brother, Chris, who's flying right now from Honduras. 
Thanks to all the people that are paying his way in the GoFundMe account with Dana. I also paid for my sister, one to come from Texas and one to come from Colorado, who really don't need, um, well, they've already been out here like twice this year and so, you know, come out an extra time was kind of expensive on their uh, limited incomes. So anyway, we're going to have everybody here. One uh, lives in Orlando, uh, the sister that lives in Rockledge with my mom. And what else? Ben Orlando, who am I missing? Ben's here. Teresa's here. Ben's here. Patricia's already here. I'm here. You're here. Dale's here. Dana is right there. And Chris is coming tonight. That's all of them. So we're done. We're just making sure we have no runs. You go to the paddle out. When you go to the funeral, you'll actually get a chance to sign this baby. Funeral is actually, the panel out is tomorrow at 16th Street South. And the actual burial is in Coco at Riverview Memorial Gardens. 1.3 miles north of 528 on US 1 on the west side of the road. And that's, that's a wrap.